Hi, welcome to this video in my series on summing series using sigma notation. And in this particular video, what I want to do is bring together the results that we've discussed in earlier tutorials in this series. And for this example, we've got to sum the series of 2r minus 1 multiplied by r squared minus 3r plus 5 where r goes from 1 to n. So to do something like this, what we're going to do is expand the brackets, generate terms that are like these, okay, and then use the appropriate formulas. Now if you feel confident to have a go at this, just pause the video and come back when ready, and you can check your solution against mine. Now welcome back if you had a go. So what does this equal? Well, first of all, what we need to do is expand the bracket. So we'll just keep the sigma there, r going from 1 to n. And if we expand the brackets in the usual way, you'll end up with 2r cubed minus 6r squared plus 10r, and then minus r squared plus 3r, and then minus 5. But if you group similar terms together, you end up then with 2r cubed minus 7r squared plus 13r minus 5. All right? Now, what we can do is take each of these terms and carry that sigma notation through each of the terms. So for the first term, we pull out 2 in front of the sigma. So we've got 2 times sigma r going from 1 to n of r cubed. If we do the same now for the next term, we've got minus 7 times sigma r going from 1 to n of r squared. And for this term here, it'll be plus 13 times sigma r, r going from 1 to n, and then for the last term we've got minus sigma r going from 1 to n for 5. Now we can pick up on the various formulae up here for each of these terms. So for the first term we've got 2 times the sum of r cubed. And We've seen before that this is going to be n squared over 4. So just put that in. n squared over 4 multiplied by n plus 1 all squared. For the next term, we've got minus 7 times the sum of r squared, which is this formula here. n over 6 to n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 1. And for the third term, we've got plus 13 times sigma r. So sigma r is going to be n over 2 multiplied by n plus 1. And for the final term, minus the sum of the constant 5, we can see that 5 has been summed n times over, so it's going to be n times 5, or minus 5n. Now we just need to simplify this. You could leave it like this, I suppose, but it's generally not a good idea. We should be able to see how we can simplify this. So we can divide this term here by the 2. And there's nothing else we can do here. So I would take out a common factor. I would take out n as a common factor on the top. And because we've got fractions involved, 2 here, 6 and a 2. I'm looking for a number that they all go into, the lowest common multiple, which is going to be 6. So I'd have n over 6 there. And so let's just put a square bracket here. So for the first term, I'm going to need a 3 because of that 2 there. And then I've already pulled out an n, so it's going to be 3n bracket and then n plus 1 all squared. So that's the first term. For the second term, I've already got the 6 out, I've already got the n out, so it's just going to be minus 7 bracket 2n plus 1 multiplied by the n plus 1. 
And for this one, well, 2 into 6 goes 3, so I just need to multiply the 13 by 3, so it's going to be 39. I've already taken the n out, so I've just left with the n plus 1. So that's that term done. And then for the minus 5n, the n's out the front, but I just need to multiply the 5 by a 6, so that's going to be minus 30. So close off that square bracket. And so what we've got here now is just n over 6, and I'm going to expand the brackets. Now, n plus 1 all squared is n squared plus 2n plus 1, and if I multiply it by the 3n, I'm going to get 3n cubed, and then plus 6n squared, and then plus 3n. Now for this one, I'll multiply the two brackets here first of all, and then multiply it by the minus 7. And if I do that, I'm going to get minus 14n squared, and then minus 21n, and minus 7. For this term here, it's going to be plus 39n, and then plus 39. And finally, you've got the minus 30 on the end. So if I group my terms in this bracket here together, I've got one cubed term there, so that's 3n cubed. And group together the n squared terms, I'm going to find that I've got minus 8n squared. And then the n terms, 3n minus 21n plus 39n, that comes to 21n. And then finally, I've got the constants, minus 7 plus 39 minus 30. That comes to plus 2. So there's the sum then of this sigma, going from r equals 1 to n of this expression here. And you can check this out if it was an exam question. I would put just a low number for n, say n equals 3 and look at the sum of the first three terms. If you work out the three individual terms, the first term would be 3, the second term, when n is 2, it would be 9, and the third term would be 25. And that comes to a total of 37. And if you were to substitute n equals 3 into here, you should find you get 37 again, verifying that there's every chance that you're correct. That brings us now to the end of this series on doing summations of series using these particular formulae. And uh, I hope that's been of some use to you. Don't forget you can find plenty of other videos on my math site for other topics. It's the best place to look rather than my YouTube channel because there's indexes there. And if you're taking an exam, quite often I've got links to various videos on the topics for that exam. All right.